of my favorite things about Harry Houdini was how much he hated spiritualists. He busted them every chance he got, and he made a promise to the world. If there were a life after death, if people could come back from the dead, he, Harry Houdini, would do it. He would come back to his wife, Bess, and he would call her Rosabelle. Rosabelle was Harry's pet name for Bess. From this song they sang the first time they appeared on stage together. Biographies of Harry Houdini will tell you that Harry called Bess Rosabelle. They also tell you that it's from a song, but that's about all they know. A friend of ours, Teresa, decided to find out what song it was. She went through the Smithsonian and the Library of Congress digging around for days. And finally, in a box marked 1890s, she found a piece of sheet music, Rosabelle. She faxed it to the pen and Teller office in Las Vegas, and Teller and I got all excited. We could use this in a show. We read the first verse, a love song, and then we read the second verse. Twas on a cold winter's evening, I heard a faint cry at my door. Just a well, just a something that I traditional love song. It's a love song to an adopted child. That's okay. That's fine. We could use that. We could use that. And Harry called Bess Rosabelle from this song. What does it mean that the song had to be interpreted literally? It's just many adults call their lovers baby and the song was popular and they sung it together on stage and, and that's fine. And we, we looked it over and turned the page and then we read the third verse and decided that we just couldn't use it. Often we speak of 